short is too short to fly? We're not talking about your height. We're talking about the length of a Seattle woman's shorts. So take a look. A JetBlue Airways crew said this outfit was too inappropriate to board a plane. And tonight, King 5's Heather Graff talked to the woman at the center of that clothing controversy. Flying the friendly skies earlier this month was a not so friendly experience for the Seattle woman in this photo that's now been seen and shared all over the country. A few minutes before boarding was set to start, the gate lead approached me and said that there was a problem and that what I was wearing was not appropriate. Maggie McMuffin is a burlesque performer who on May 18th was returning from a show on the East Coast. She took a JetBlue flight from New York to Boston earlier in the day with no problems. But during the second leg of her trip from Boston to Seattle, she says the crew at the gate told her the black and white striped shorts she was wearing were too short to board the plane. And they asked Maggie to change. I informed them that I didn't have anything else. I had two very small carry-ons with me and they suggested that I go buy something. It was that or be booked on another flight, they told her. So Maggie ran to a shop in the airport terminal and bought these size extra large pajama bottoms for $22. I put them on and then boarded, but no one spoke to me. No one was like, oh, thank you for complying. In a statement, a spokesperson for JetBlue told us in part the gate and onboard crew discussed the customer's clothing and determined the burlesque shorts may offend other families on the flight. He also said JetBlue supports the crew member's discretion to make these difficult decisions. It's obviously subjective. I've flown JetBlue before. I flew in that exact same outfit the same day. But after this incident, Maggie says she'll choose a different airline. Everything was covered. I was not breaking any laws. The next time she flies the friendly skies. In Seattle, Heather Graff, King 5 News. Well, the airline did reimburse Maggie the cost of the pajama bottom she bought at the airport, and she also received a $162 credit for a future flight on JetBlue, though Maggie says she would prefer an apology and more clearly stated passenger dress code. So we asked you to let us know if you thought the shorts were too <laughs> short. And most of you do agree with the airline saying you should cover up a little more in public. But Courtney said unless the dress code restrictions were clear when she bought her ticket, the airline should not have turned her away.